I'm Harun Mota and I run four marathons in the space of three weeks for the charity Penny Appeal in memory of my father. I ran the 2012 London Marathon. It was my first ever marathon. Uh, it was a horrible, painful experience and I told myself that I'd never run again. But the following year, my father passed away after a car accident and I decided that I wanted to run many more miles for good causes in his memory. It was amazing to see how far my story was reaching. I had donations from all across the world, people who donated and donated it again and it was just incredible to have so much support. Staying motivated can be extremely difficult, however the cause to provide the gift of water to the poor and needy helped and kept me going. One of the most rewarding experiences for my fundraising journey was actually going out to Africa and visiting the village where the solar water well and power centre was built. I was there for the inauguration of the project and it was incredible and very humbling to see the difference it had made. Hi, I'm Esther and I've set up Stand Tall after being in an abusive relationship so I can help other women and girls stand tall again. Stand Tall's mission is to help any woman or girl who's been through any abuse or bullying and get back on their feet and stand tall again. We signed up for Tough Mudder and I think it's, it's one of the best things you can do because the team has to carry each other. You can't do it individually and for me that's exactly what Stand Tall stands for. The most rewarding thing that I do with Stand Tall is kind of the talks that I give because every time women come up to me and say, now that I've heard you speak, I want to go and get the help. The money that we raise goes towards different programmes um, through education and online that will help women and girls get the help they need and achieve their full potential. My name is Sal and this year I raise money for the LGBT History Festival in Shrewsbury. SAND stands for Safe Ageing No Discrimination and we look out for the interests of older and old lesbian, gay, bisexual and trans people. As the festival has gone on, we increasingly realise how important it is for people to have role models, for people to understand that LGBT people have contributed to history, to be able to see themselves in that. So we have all sorts of people come along and find out about our contributions to history. The crowdfunding itself was a fantastic catalyst for us. People are amazingly generous and if they couldn't afford money then they contributed their time through volunteering as well. Finding out I'd been nominated for an award was amazing and extremely humbling and extraordinary to get that recognition for myself and my three colleagues that have put this festival together. I feel very proud. 